how's everybody doing this is a good day for rc review because we have the hottest new vehicle the axial bronco sex 24 124 scale 160 bucks why is this the hottest vehicle because one it's axial second it's affordable you know we all want the 500 dollar thousand dollar crawlers but Nobody can afford that, you know, maybe 20%, but everyone has a couple hundred bucks in them, right? So this is right there. So more expensive than the previous SEX 24s. They used to start at 120 bucks. Now it's 160, but they have uh, a real trick up their sleeve. And I'll show you right now what it is. The secret sauce in this vehicle is it has a, a hard body. What is a hard body? A hard body is the opposite of a Lexan. Lexan is super thin, you know, super durable, but not very detailed, not very realistic. And in the game of scale crawlers, we're all about realism, right? So they finally joined the, the fray. You know, a company called FMS has been shape making waves with their hard body machines. Uh, more detailed, more opening stuff. You can open hoods, doors, whatnot and you could basically just you know produce textures that are much more realistic than a plain lexan plastic body so here it is 160 bucks let's see what we get for our money we get a detailed a heavier body in their traditional pivot mounted system right there super cool and this body has a lot of detail i'll show you some close-ups but it is 110 grams so it is everything comes at a cost so it does sacrifice performance for realism so don't expect great performance out of this thing it's all more all about scale so to speak so here is something they produce it's called the betty edition so it's got the same body same chassis uh, in fact they they did reduce the wheels on the Betty. So it is the same as the uh, this new Bronco. In the JL series, the Jeep had these huge wheels. They performed well, but they were kind of unrealistic. Wheelbase is the same as well. So they have a new one called the Gladiator. That one has a longer wheelbase. So this one, to be more, more realistic, they went with their traditional wheelbase. They're using a Velcro. Here, a super strong industrial strength Velcro. It's a little too strong, actually. You have to really uh, get in it. But it's better than the old one, which is a body clip. Uh, one of the great innovations of Axel is a, a pivot mounting system. And it, it pivots on the rear. So it's very easy to access your battery, easy to work on stuff. In fact, it stays put uh, when you're not using it. Uh, so they, But it has a hole with a tiny little body clip so they got rid of that so now we have velcro that's like i said super strong this this body is about 25 grams this one is about 110 grams uh with uh, with a spare tire included so basically the main change that they did between these two is the speed control they now have a new integrated speed control receiver which modulates better i'll show you in a second and they changed the layout of the battery the battery is now uh, horizontal instead of vertical not sure it matters quite a bit but you know you could say that the the the, the weight is shifted forward just a hair but these batteries they don't weigh that much so there you go why don't i turn it on right so they have a new transmitter i've seen these transmitters from a company called fms fms is now distributed by horizon hobby the parent of axel so from that relationship they probably got the new transmitter and receiver so it is better than their old one more sleek has a nice cover good control so it has a switch one of the strengths of the axial is the switch you can access from underneath the easiest to use even when the thing is closed has two sets of leds one on the bumper uh, like this one which is kind of good but not very realistic uh, but now they do have one in the Lexan body. So that's pretty cool. Much more realistic. And that light is, I heard, switchable. So right there, flashing and off. Right? That's pretty cool. But with double the light power, 
you'll definitely be able to crawl with this at night uh, because I know it's doable with this one. Just wanted a little more, okay? So cut right to the chase and uh, uh, hit the steering and modulation. So the steering say is the same as ever. Fairly fast servo, but not very strong. And, and the modulation is good in two ways. One, it has a worm gear um, that has you know that really has good gear reduction good drag brake and now that they have that new ASC this seems to have improved quite a bit so it's rare that you see this kind of modulation uh, in in a vehicle this this small it still doesn't have too much torque it has the same motor everything so um, that could be upgraded if you're looking for form performance Interesting about this vehicle is it's not really going to be a high performance vehicle because you can get a lot more for your money uh, with just with their cheaper models. Um, so right here, I'll, I'll show you the weight as well. But the top speed seems to have dropped just a hair uh, because because the wheel size, wheel diameter uh, is smaller. Uh, just an effect of a little geometry. The the steering radius. And still one of the best in class. So definitely uh, usable indoors and it's very crawl realistic. And that is really the core strength of Axial. Uh, I would say two best of the best. One is it's very realistic. Everything you learn here in the small scale uh, is really produced reproduced in the big scale. So you can practice at home and you, you are gaining skills and realism. The second strength of Axial, as opposed to something like this, FMS, this thing, they're both equally beautiful. Um, maybe I would say this one has more, FMS has more uh, tricks up its sleeve because it's got opening hood. You know, some of them have opening doors and whatnot. But what this does over the, the FMS models is upgradability, you know? A lot of these other companies, they don't have the, the, the support, the, the momentum of an axle. So when you up, want to upgrade your, your, your axle covers, you want to improve performance, there's probably a thousand parts that are available for this little vehicle. Uh, for this one, I don't know. When you're talking third party, maybe 10. <laughs> it's growing, hopefully, but it's not there yet. So. There it is, the downside, so a lot of upsides, basically everything I've said so far is an upside. The, the, the detail is beautiful. I'm gonna try to take some detailed photos, but it's got three colors. This is a flat gray color. I'm not seeing any imperfections at all with it. The, um, it's got a driver inside. All this is removable, the tires removable. So I would say the downside is it's now even more bouncy than before. Uh, it's just undamped suspension. They made this rear suspension firmer just to support that extra weight but now it's really more pronounced and the performance it's gonna suffer quite a bit um let's see what is a good i have a a good test bed here so i'll just do it like this so where you're gonna suffer the most is your side hilling so right here i'm hitting the limit of this little machine any other push and the thing flips over so we'll do a little test in the backyard uh, but don't, I, I don't even have to go to rock crawl course, but it's, it's not going to be amazing, right? So here is their stock Betty. Uh, they also have a vehicle that's, uh, I believe it's a, C, uh, a C10 where it's just like the Betty that you could buy today. So here, as you can see, I'm going a lot higher. So a lot more performance here, side healing and whatnot. And this is a modified vehicle. This is an SEX 24 JL. And right here, you're talking, nerding out what kind of performance can you get. So have a lot of tricks on this one, but basically this can crawl most of the lines of the 110 scale. So the other thing, when you have an undamped suspension and you have a, um, a heavy body, uh, it will produce a tilt uh, at, the, at, at, at one moment. And when that thing, when the, when, the, when the suspension tilts, then the whole thing falls over. So it accentuates the high CG by an undamped suspension. So that quick movement will just roll you over. 
All right, so we'll go for a little test run, but um, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few of the five best upgrades uh, that you should go for uh, uh, on this one right after I show you the test run. Uh, and you know why I have them? Because my buddy who bought this vehicle bought the upgrades already, all right? Turn around, do it again. Again. Oh, nice. I, I don't know how you did that. Okay, so we have a set of upgrades. What is What are the upgrades that you can do to your SCX24 Bronco when you get it. Number one, number one of all is brass wheels, metal wheels with brass rings. So this will give you the lowest CG of the car possible. So, and they're significant. They're significantly heavier than what's stock in here. Uh, okay, the only thing with this situation is uh, you can't use your old tires because those tires are glued to the rim, so you have to buy new tires. So with new tires, my buddy went with Falcon Wild Peaks, my favorite tire. It's on my um, one by one Tacoma right now. They look really good and they perform really well. These are RC four wheel drives, so they have foams, unlike this one which has no foam, so a little more support, um, but um, maybe it's good for the extra weight of this vehicle it's right there and if you want the ultimate performance they now make the proline hyrax in this size in this scale all right the number two upgrade you want to do is your steering link so right here i'm going to show you the weakness of this vehicle is the steering you see that wiggle 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 that's because the geometry of the steering is very simple it's just a little bar that attaches to uh, the main the main steering link and there's a lot of play in there. So what this device from Samex is does is it removes that play. It's, it doesn't change the geometry of your steering, but it removes that play. So you get rid of this, all right? 
Uh, and the third upgrade is a little servo. You could go with this one, Eco Power. There's another brand that um, most people are using. Uh, I'm forgetting it right now. But if you go with a smaller one, you have, you have to get the aluminum servo mount from Samix as well. Okay, and finally, upgrade number five maybe is uh, a battery. You can go with a bigger battery or the same battery. And what you really want is, is a, a second battery because the charger on this is so rudimentary. It takes about, even though it's a small battery, it takes an hour, um, maybe a little more, <laughs> depending on the size of your battery. So just get a second battery. That way you're playing for days at the track. All right, so bottom line, great addition to the Axel SCX24. It was kind of it was kind of unexpected because they've never made a hard body, uh, and who was who expected that they're gonna make their first hard body uh, using the micro the micro collar scene? So stay tuned, hang on to the channel. We are gonna compare it to some of these other SCX 24s but I just got this one too I believe it's the Unimog pretty cool from Rock Hobby but this will be my next video so hang on for that all right thanks a ton guys